The Manitwish Waters Historical Society is proud to present Camp Mercer Interpretive Trail, What You Need to Know Before You Go. Camp Mercer Interpretive Trail was developed by a broad partnership with all the different organizations at the bottom of the slide contributing dramatically. Along this trail, that's a little over three and a half miles if you do all of it, are several interpretive signs indicated by the red dots on the left. And there's an example of a sign that'll have all sorts of interesting information for you to better understand your surroundings and the history. A little background on what the Civilian Conservation Corps was and what it did for Wisconsin's North Woods. Shortly after 1933, when Franklin Roosevelt became President of the United States, he began the Civilian Conservation Corps in the first 100 days of his administration. This was to bring restoration to our natural resources and promote conservation and also bring direct relief to families. Enrollees who served in the CCC were required to send $20 a month home to their families, which actually saved many family farms and residents as they were able to pay their taxes as well as providing other necessities such as food. Along the banks of the Manitwish River, Camp Mercer was started on June 21st, 1933. It was attached to the state forest rangers who ran the projects out in the field while the army operated the camp. Camp Mercer will later become an administrative camp and will supervise 10 Northwoods CCC camps. You can see to the right the sprawling campus of Camp Mercer and the hills of Presque Isle and Winchester in the background and how the many CCC camps moved across the Northwoods of Wisconsin, building state parks at Copper Falls, dealing with the state forests here in the Northern Highland American Legion Forest, and then supporting the federal forests as well. The Camp Mercer Interpretive Trail has an ideal location between the Manitwish River, which is a popular canoe and kayak route, and the bike trail going from Manitwish Waters to Mercer, Wisconsin. The Camp Mercer Interpretive Trail is easy to access by water, by bicycle, or by vehicle. We have several maps to help you uh, navigate Camp Mercer, a traditional map of the camp and the different interpretive signs all numbered for you. But the one that I like the best is the 1937 aerial photograph in which the trail is overlaid and you can see the quads of the CCC barracks and all the buildings to give you better context. Both of these maps will be available to you on a link in the descriptions of this YouTube video. Another map that'll be available will be an All Trails map. For those of you who are unfamiliar, All Trails is a free app that once you load it into your phone, you can pull up the Camp Mercer Trail and have this blue dot right here show your exact location wherever you are and give you a lot of other information. These are very helpful. Here's the URL for the Camp Mercer link, but that's also going to be made available to you in the description as a link for this YouTube. So, one of the most important things when you go out on an outing with your family and friends is to figure out where to park and how to access the trail. So we're going to look at several access points, all within this rectangle here between Manitwish Waters, Manitwish, or Mercer. So these yellow arrows mark all the different access points that I'm going to review for you. So as you come from the south, or in this case, Highway 51 actually runs east and west. As you are heading west, you cross the Manitwish River, go across the county line. Uh, the turn is almost immediate. If you're coming uh, from the west, or people often say the north on Highway 51, um, look for the wayside signs, and that will be the first opportunity to park. River's Edge is our first access point on the 
eastern or southern side of Highway 51. Accessed immediately off of the highway, um, the front of River's Edge is a plowed parking lot in the winter and is available all summer. And the proprietor, Chris McMurphy, wants to welcome all guests. The back of River's Edge will lead right to the trail area and the Manitouche River Access Road and has amenities such as picnic tables. Uh, there are also uh, flush toilets at River's Edge. Just across the street from River's Edge is the Manitouche River Canoe and Kayak Landing right here. Importantly, notice this big red X here. That is because the bike trail runs along the Manitouche River Access Road and the bridge across Circle Lily Creek does not allow vehicles. This side is plowed in the winter and there's a small parking lot by the canoe landing and you can park on the side of the road as well. Just a few hundred yards up the road heading west toward Mercer is the eastern entry point for the trail. There is a turn in right here that gets you right on the trail and there is parking on the side of the road and parking for a few cars at that point. Continuing to head in a westerly or north on Highway 51 direction, you will find the main gate entrance. There's a lovely sign, you can't miss it, about the main gate and the mound side side of the trail that marks this fabulous entry marker built by rookies in 1934. Parking here is along the side of the road and is plowed all year. Moving down the trail from sign 10, the main gate, you quickly discover the trailhead marker sign that has a great deal of information, several maps, and great panoramic images. The final parking area is seasonal access only and is the wayside. So as you're coming down Highway 51 heading east from Manitouche or Mercer, you'll see the wayside signs and can pull in right here. There's also a boat landing for those coming by canoe or kayak. When hiking on the trail, I would recommend heavy-soled shoes like these hiking tennis shoes or formal hiking boots. During the period of May, mid-May to mid-June, bugs can be a problem, so a little bug spray for ticks, mosquitoes, and the like would be great. I actually wear this uh, bug suit during those periods, and it's an absolute joy to be on the trail at any time. Sunscreen and, of course, water are all good things to bring along. Bathrooms are available at each DNR campsite, marked by signs 7 and 24. On the left, you can see a privy that was uh, developed with a screen around it by the DNR. That's on the westernmost campsite. On the easternmost campsite, by sign 7, uh, it is a more open air experience. But for those who prefer flush toilets, you may want to make arrangements at River's Edge. Enjoying the trail in spring when things were just budding out and you get the great views through the woods or in the lush period of summer or in the brilliant colors of fall are all recommended because the trail, just like the North Woods, takes on a different personality with each season. Arguably, the best season to be there is in the winter. This is a view going down the trail west toward the wayside. And with the shorter days, Camp Mercer Trail is a perfect hike to go and burn a few calories before you go out to your favorite establishment for something to eat and drink. Uh, most often people keep that snowshoe trail open. And there's of course the great views of the Manitouche River Picnicking on the trail is great as well. Whether you come by water or if you're hiking on the trail, yes, we do winter picnics and they're very enjoyable. There are picnic tables at the wayside off of Highway 51 at each of the campsites on the river and of course at River's Edge. Please understand that this is an archeological site. 
hiking, observing, and enjoying the archaeological features is absolutely encouraged. But digging, disturbing, and removing anything from the Camp Mercer Trail is prohibited. There are also dangerous pits, as you see here next to the old mess hall and rec hall. There's cisterns, all of which can be hazards. They're easily identified and easily avoided. Please stay away from these fragile resources. Camp Mercer Trail also shares its use with hunters, fishermen, and trappers. Uh, there's an abundance of partridge and rabbits out on the trail, and you might see, as I did the other day, a spent shotgun shell. This is not a big deal. And during gun season, many hunters enjoy hunting in the area around the trail. Pets and bicycles are both allowed on Camp Mercer Interpretive Trail. You have to use good etiquette and respect those who you share the trail with. The lugs on this mountain bike and the paws on this little pup can also threaten many of the archaeological features that are protected on this site. A little common sense will go a long way and everybody can have a great experience when out on the trail. Where do you pick up your trail maps? Well, you can get them from the hot links from the YouTube description below or you can go to any of the locations on this map, from Mercer to Manitwish waters and in between. And be sure to come out with your friends and family and learn more about the cultural and historical traditions of the Northwoods.